Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the effect of opening a large AV fistula or arteriovenous fistula on the combined cardiac output and venous return curve. We have previously discussed the effects of increasing blood volume on combined cardiac output and venous return curve. Similarly, we have also discussed the effect of sympathetic stimulation on the combined cardiac output and venous return curve. Now here again, we are going to discuss the effect of opening a large arteriovenous fistula on the combined cardiac output and venous return curve. So here we have our combined cardiac output and venous return curve. Here on the y-axis, we are showing the cardiac output and the venous return and on the x-axis we are having the right atrial pressure. Similarly, we will also be um, mentioning or uh, documenting the mean systemic filling pressure on the x-axis. Now, here the red color, the red color is basically showing the normal venous return curve and the normal cardiac output curve. And we have discussed again and again that initially when the right atrial pressure is below zero there is no cardiac output there is no cardiac output when the right atrial pressure starts increasing at the right atrial pressure of zero the cardiac output reaches its normal level five liters per minute similarly the venous return starts increasing when the right atrial pressure starts increasing initially and at the le at the level of zero millimeter of mercury right atrial pressure when the pressure in the right atrium is zero millimeter of mercury the cardiac output is five liters per minute and the venous return is also five liters per minute and we have discussed in our previous lectures as well that's that this point this this point is known as the equilibrium point the equilibrium Point. Now, it is important to note that this equilibrium point at 5 liters per minute is for the normal right atrial pressure and the normal mean systemic filling pressure which is 7 because when the mean systemic filling pressure is 7 millimeter of mercury here, we see that at 7 millimeter of mercury the venous return will become a zero because the mean systemic filling pressure the mean systemic filling pressure is the pressure or the force which is basically helping to move the blood towards the heart now if the force the pressure in the heart also becomes 7 millimeter of mercury then this force will not be able to push or move the blood towards the heart so the venous return the blood returning towards the heart will become zero at seven millimeter of mercury now this seven is normal the right atrial pressure normal is zero now what will happen what will happen to this equilibrium point what will happen to the cardiac output curve what will happen to the venous return curve when we open a large arteriovenous fistula now here we have the heart and the circulation here we have the right atrium, the right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. Blood from the left ventricle is going through the aorta, through the arteries into the body. This is showing the body. And then it is returning through the veins. For some conditions like for example uh, dialysis, we need a fistula. We need a fistula. So fistula is basically a direct connection between a large artery and a large vein. Now, as soon as a fistula is made, the blood coming through the arteries goes directly into the vein and bypassing the, this whole body. The blood basically bypasses this whole resistance because if the blood has to go through the arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, then there will be a lot of resistance. But this AV fistula, it helps the blood to bypass this resistance and go directly into the veins. Now, as soon as this fistula is uh, made or as soon as it becomes functional, then the, the venous return curve, the venous return curve, which was normally coming like this, it suddenly moves upward because the, 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 the amount of blood that is returning to the heart increases suddenly. 
because the resistance has been go uh, reduced or there is uh, little resistance so the blood starts coming directly to the heart so this venous return curve it moves upward it moves upward and the the is more blood is coming to the heart so according to frank starling law frank starling law the more blood that comes to the heart the more blood will be pumped by the heart so the heart will pump the whatever amount of blood is coming to the heart within certain limits so as more blood starts coming to the heart the the heart also starts pumping that blood so cardiac output also increases we see that the cardiac output also increase this red color is basically the normal cardiac output curve it moves to this level and the venous return curve has moved to this level we see that the venous return curve the venous return curve has moved a long way to this point but the cardiac output curve has not moved that much it has moved only slightly this is soon after this is soon after opening the av fistula so initially there is a big increase in the venous return which also leads to a slight increase in the cardiac output and the new cardiac output and the venous return it is at this level it is at this level which will be around 12 or 13 so initially in a normal human being the cardiac output venous return is 5 five, 5 five liters per minute but as soon as the av fistula is opened the venous the blood bypasses the resistance there is less resistance so as the resi resistance is decreased so the venous return jumps upward and as the venous return increases the heart also starts pumping more blood and the cardiac output also increases but there is a big jump in the venous return as compared to the cardiac output it simply means that more contribution to this jump is due to the increasing venous return rather than the uh, contribution of the heart itself so there is the cardiac output and venous return increases from this normal level to this higher level soon after opening the av fistula but the important thing is the mean systemic filling pressure remains the same almost the same there is almost no increase in the mean systemic filling pressure the pressure which is basically helping or moving the blood towards the heart then after few minutes few minutes the cardiac output increases further the cardiac output increases further and the venous return also moves a little bit higher there is activation of sympathetic system there is activation of sympathetic system so the activation of sympathetic system basically leads to uh, contraction or constriction of the arterioles in the periphery so it leads to increase in the mean systemic filling pressure as well so the mean systemic filling pressure moves higher from the 7 from 7 mm of mercury to 9 mm of mercury so soon after the opening av fistula there is a big jump in the venous return and a small jump in the cardiac output and after a few minutes there is further increase in the venous return and there is further increase in the cardiac output as well and now the new venous return and cardiac output are, are at this level this is the new so venous return and cardiac output increases even more it even increases even more and the mean systemic filling pressure has also increased from the normal 7 to 9 mm of mercury it now means that the right atrial pressure the pressure at the right atrium it has to move to around 9 mm it has to move to around 9 mm of mercury to bring the cardiac output to bring the venous return to zero level in the normal human being the right atrial pressure had to move just to 7 mm of mercury to bring down this normal venous return to zero level but and 
even after opening the AV fistula, there was no significant change in the mean systemic filling pressure. But after a few minutes, there has there is a slight increase in the mean systemic filling pressure and it moves to a new point. Now the right atrial pressure must move to this level to bring down the new venous return curve to zero or to bring down the venous return to zero level. And after a few weeks, after a few weeks, there is increase in the blood volume. There is increase in blood volume. Now why the increase in blood volume occurs? Because of the sympathetic system. Because the sympathetic system has caused constriction of the arterioles. So there is a decrease in urine formation. There is decrease in urine formation. And by now the heart has also started contracting more and more and the heart has also become more powerful. Now these two factors lead to increase in the blood volume due to sympathetic stimulation and due to increased contraction or increased power of the heart. Due to these factors, the, the venous return increases even more. The venous return increases even more and it moves to this point. The venous return curve has moved to a new point but because the heart has also become stronger, so the cardiac output also moves to a new point. Initially, the venous return curve and the cardiac output curve were meeting at this, this level, at 5 liters per minute. Soon after opening the AV fistula, they moved to this level. They met at this level. Then after a few uh, minutes, they moved further and they met at this new level. And after a few weeks, after a few weeks, now the cardiac output and venous return has moved to right around this level. So we can see that the cardiac output and venous return has increased more. And the second thing is that the mean systemic failing pressure has also increased more. It has increased to around like 12 or 13. So the mean systemic filling pressure, the pressure which is basically forcing the blood to move towards the heart has also increased to 12. Because of the increased volume, because of the increased volume, this pressure, systemic filling pressure, it is due to the filling, it is due to the filling effect. So due to the increased volume, there is more filling of the vasculature. So this mean systemic filling pressure also increase. Similarly, there, due to activation of the sympathetic system, there is contraction of the blood vessels, which also help move the blood towards the heart. So both these factors move the mean systemic filling pressure to a higher level. And now the mean new mean systemic filling pressure has increased to 12. So the right atrial pressure, the right atrial pressure now has to increase to 12 millimeter of mercury to bring down this new venous return to zero level. In the normal heart, the right atrial pressure only has to increase from the zero to seven millimeter of mercury to bring down the venous return to zero. And when there is slight increase in the mean systemic filling pressure, then it has to increase to this point to bring the venous return to zero level. But now finally, after a few weeks of opening the AV fistula, the blood volume has increased so much, the sympathetic stimulation has occurred so much, the heart has become more powerful, the cardiac output has increased to the new point, the venous return has increased to a new point and the mean systemic filling pressure has also increased to a new point. So now the right atrial pressure also has to move to around or to increase to around 12 millimeter of mercury to bring down this mean systemic filling pressure to bring down this venous return to zero level. Now, to summarize this, there, the effect of the opening a large fistula or the AV fistula between the uh, large artery and large vein starts soon after opening the fistula and initially there is an increase in the venous return. The venous return curve move initially and then the cardiac output also increases slightly and the new cardiac, the cardiac output and the venous return both the curves beat at a new point and there is an increase in the cardiac output and venous return. But initially there is no change in the mean systemic filling pressure. Mean systemic filling pressure is denoted with PSF. Initially there is no change. 
Then after a few minutes, there is further increase in the venous return and cardiac output. And after, uh, after a few weeks, there is due to increased accumulation of the volume and uh, uh, due to increased contraction of the heart and due to sympathetic stimulation, there is further elevation of the cardiac output curve and there is further increase in the venous return and then the, the, the cardiac output and the venous return further increase and the curve, the cardiac output curve and the venous return curve at, meet at a new point and simply showing the increase in the cardiac output and venous return from the normal basal level of 5 liters to around 20 liters per minute after few weeks of opening a large AV fistula. So this is all about the effect of opening a large AV fistula on the combined cardiac output and venous return curve as well as on the increase in the cardiac output and venous return.